Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and yes, I am back. I am so sorry for not being about for a while and it has been a while but I've just had a few things. I will tell you what they are for this video but I better tell you about this video before I get too far ahead. So I am doing a design using these 4D moulds. So I've tried this before and I've found it very hard to bend that round that nail so i've decided to cut a piece out and see if that helps because it's just a bit big is that sheet you know just to bend so yes that's what i decided to do i've decided to cut it up and see if that helps so on that tip i had put some jack jack some black gel polish then i've top coated it in matte and i've just wiped that off so i'm going to take some 3d gel and we are going to see if I can get this to work any better this time. So I am, I've got a little bit of gel res in that lid there. And whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to keep my finger wet so that it does not stick to the gel. So you'll see me keep dunking my finger into that. So I'm just putting that across that nail. So make sure you get them sides as flat as you can. And then I've got this tool that's got a, a brush and a sculpturing thing on one name. You could use a cuticle pusher and I'm just using that to get that into the shape that I want. And just make sure you get them edges as flat and flush to that nail as possible. Okay, so this is the little piece that I've chopped off. So what I'm going to do is there is a little bit of silver inside this. So I don't know if this is going to disrupt that silver or not. But I'm just going in with some of that gel res inside the pattern just to see because sometimes it just stick and it pulls bits off. So I'm just hoping that with it having that gel res inside there, it will not stick and pull that design back off so I'm just laying that over and then I'm going to go across pressing that down onto that gel and then pull that off and that worked great that did not pull a little bit off it did not stick inside the pattern on the silicone so yeah that that is a good tip I think so you can see it did leave the um silver that were inside there as well so what I'm going to do now is, I do want this matte, but just to show that design off a little bit more, I am going to gloss up the top and bottom of this. God, it feels like forever since I have done a video and I am out of, um, I've forgotten what to say and how to say it. What's the word? I'm out of, out of practice, that's it. Okay, so well, that is... In the lamp, I'm going to just use some acrylic to do these 3D moulds. So I'm going in with just a random selection of these really nice light colours. And I'm just doing them wet so that they soak into them grooves on these roses. So just go in. You could go in with one colour if you want. And then I'm just going to go on the top with just plain white to bring them up. And then you just simply, <coughs> excuse me, press that down with your brush. I do come onto the screen in a minute. I've just got a little bit 
out of focus there but you just press that down make sure that that is fully pressed into all them little petals underneath and set that to the side okay so what i'm going to do now is i am going to tie this up a little bit so i've just got some thicker gel and i'm going to line round the bottom of this one first you don't have to i mean that's not bad at all that has got a nice pattern on there but i just want to bling this up a little bit now so i'm going to use some silver caviar beads and i'm going to start from this side and just using this like um to like a i don't know what it is it looks like a needle and i'm going to work my way along all that bottom nudge them into position and then stick that into the lamp and then while well, that's in the lamp let's see how these turned out oops i don't want to show you so if you've got any little bits that's overhanging they just come off you can just pick them off like that and then you're left with your little roses. So hard to see these. See if it'll show up there. You can get that's better. Okay, so we're gonna do the top part now. So I'm gonna fill in this top corner. So I'm just gonna apply that gel. And then again, I'm going to put some silver caviar beads along that first little bit there. Just nudge them into place. And then we can put these roses on. So I'm going to just nudge these around this top part. Just add more gel if you need that. And I've also got some um, little stones to put in here as well. So in between all the gaps and around this i'm just going to go in now and i'm going to add caviar beads and little rhinestones So once I've got all them in, I'm just going to go in and nudge them, make sure they're all where I want to be. Because they do move sometimes. Just check that you've got all your little spaces covered if that's what you're looking to do. And then as soon as I'm happy with that, I will put that under the lamp. And this is it, guys. So yeah, my first video after about six weeks so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in my next one bye